hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial this is my 14th video tutorial in the last video tutorial we did the programming for the time controlled machine or motor as you can see in this uh, picture in the last tutorial we used the same timer concept for making the time controlled machine which looks quite confusing uh, for the new beginners that's why one of my students asked me can we write a program to control a machine or a motor or any other device without using this kind of complex uh, arrangement because it has branches a vertical line and then a timer and a preset value and all that so my answer was yes of course we can do it for this we have special relays and the following are the special relays used for the clock pulses so today we are going to use the clock the special relays which are used for the clock pulses so we have these type of clock pulses the m1920 and a clock pulse is 0 0.01 and m1921 and 0.1 seconds so these are the clock pulses uh, this one in the previous tutorial we used this clock pulse in the timer but today we will be covering these two special relays the M1922 one second clock pulse which gives one second clock pulse and the M1923 it gives 60 second clock pulse for the one minute uh, how to use these special relays in uh, later logic programming uh, let's start the programming open win pro later click new again select the type of PLC you are using you can click on the edit and you can select the ABS the points and the model and click OK so let's first use this one second clock pulse that is M1922 and the output y is 0 let's check PLC simulation PLC run you can see it on and off exactly a one second delay it's, it's so simple okay now let's use that other one which is the M1923 Press A on the keyboard, M1923, and output Y1. Run PLT. So, as you can see, that it can turn on and off, and it's a exactly once again. And let's see what happens when 60 seconds are completed. it will remain on for 60 seconds and remain off for 60 seconds and it's okay now let's do how to do the comparison how to do the counting actually or for example we want to design uh, such a program or write a, such a program that will turn off a machine after five seconds so how do that it's just easy like so now let's click U on the keyboard for our differential of contact and write Y0 click F and write increment and enter R2 okay as we want to keep the machine on by default so M0 and y1 we suppose that a machine is connected to y1 and when the m0 is uh, is in by default we want y1 to remain on so we have used a closed switch okay now we will do the comparison but first let's check this one and see how it works run PLC 21 yeah 
it's working so stop now we need to do the comparison so <coughs> you will need click F and write CMP source is R2 and R4 R2 and R4 so let's edit the table in R4 we have a preset value of let's say 30 30 seconds and also let's make R2 0 so that is R2 and let's make it 0 output M0 and output M0 now let's run so now this uh, machine will remain on for 30 seconds <coughs> sorry and when the 30 seconds are completed uh, it will go high this instruction will uh, become false and y1 will turn off so let's start run plc okay now it's counting the seconds Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Yep. Okay, now you can see that it's now turned off. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, share my video with your friends, and thanks for watching.